Hello, I'm Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we'll see how to add an extra disk to our uh, Azure virtual machines using uh, Azure portal. Uh, so I am on uh, I am in Azure portal right now. That is portal.azure.com. And uh, as a prerequisite, you need to have uh, your Microsoft Azure subscription, and which you can have. You can also have through the Azure free account. Do watch my video about exploring uh, the Azure free account. Okay. So I have already created one VM uh, with a uh, size basic A1 size. Uh, you can see on the screen this is the overview it's running right now and I'm also connected to it so this is the machine so now we need to add the uh, an extra disk to it okay so before that uh, let's again go to the machine and let's uh, see the it's so it has two uh, two drives right now one c drive and another one is d drive fine so for adding a disk to our existing virtual machine of course uh, your virtual machine size uh, you have uh, provision should be uh, should support this extra disk addition of disk so let's go to for adding the disk you need to go uh, under settings disk here uh, you will be getting uh, the existing disk details and a button for saying add data disk let's create let's click on it so now there are three to four options which we need to configure for this new disk so uh, very first let's make this host caching as read and write and come to name click on this drop down you will get a link saying create, create disk click on it so we are here you, are, you need to add the details for uh, that particular disk which we are adding just a name and so so that it could get also listed over there uh, let's add as a add as a disk for demo let's give the same resource group you can select the account type from over here I will not change I will keep as it is because the main purpose of this demo is to show how to add and not what what is what we are adding exactly so this is the way we need to add it so I will keep ping uh, all this default value I just need to enter the name and as you can see the size is in GB so it is adding 1023 GB let's click on create it would validate it could take fewer minutes to get add uh, to uh, it will come back to that blade of that size blade once it gets validated with uh, great so it got added now as you can see the name which we gave disk for demo the size which we added 1023 and this were the default value or we can change it anyways but uh, we uh, we kept as it uh, default right so once uh, we have added this just click on save and you will get a notification once the machine is updated with this uh, additional disk again it could take few minutes or few seconds let's see okay so it's now done it took approximately one minute one to two minute that's fine now uh, let's see let's again uh, go into our demo VM and over here we need to add it right so let's go to uh, the server manager under the server manager go to storage disk management So here you can see it's, uh, it's saying that you must initialize a disk before the logical disk manager can access it and this is the extra uh, the new disk which we have added just click on ok so here you can see there are three things uh, initially we saw c drive and d drive and this is our new disk uh, which is ready but we need to 
just allocate it or just click right click over here just click here right click over here and click on new uh, simple volume uh, there will be some wizard from windows just click next next so here you can see it will be in the name of e drive next next finish so it's now formatting this disk you can see the status over here so this was the earlier drives which we saw that was c and d over here and now the new one is getting formatted as a part of great so it has now added this new volume e drive here also you can see the e drive let's go to my computer again and you can see the disk we added over here is now ready to use so it's very simple it's very straightforward uh, to get a add this to your virtual machines so hope you have enjoyed and learned something new through this video uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you. Happy Azure coding. Bye-bye.